Sadly, many of us can feel that Roblox is dying. So, is there an actual hope for the golden age of Roblox to return? As you can see, most of the games on the front page are just boring and bland experiences that only exist for one common reason, to abuse its players and premium payout system for money. It's sad, but it's true. Just look at all of these games. What the hell is that? All of these games are made by different people, but they're the same game at the same time. And they have insane amount of players in them. So, maybe the next thing that I'm going to say is going to make some people to hate me, but these games are just straight up garbage. Because they're targeted for kids with fried brains that can't focus on editing for more than 20 seconds. Even the original arm wrestle simulator that started this horrible trend is completely broken and makes no sense. Look, the first location in this game is school, and to escape it, you need to defeat a bully, teacher, and a freaking mafioso, bruh. Everybody has a mafia member in their school that just arm wrestles everyone, right? But, but it's okay, it's okay, because nobody actually plays this game. And what I mean by that is that every single player that is online in this simulator is just a kid that presses autoplay buttons and goes AFK and only comes once in 20 minutes to press on the screen to avoid getting kicked. And then he goes back to watching some skibbity toilets or trashy YouTube shorts for another 20 minutes. And the worst part is that the developers actually get rewarded for creating soulless games like this with no actual gameplay because they get paid for the amount of time that player spends in their game even if he's AFK. So because of that, we get repetitive and boring games created by greedy devs with no original ideas. And horror games are like this too. Just look at this! The only thing that is scary about these games is that they let their players to experience the life of a low-wage worker. So the front page is basically a parrot of clones. And it's sad to see that Roblox is now like this when it was filled with passion projects and actually exciting games that were fun to play for a long time before. Back then, developers actually cared for their players and had original and cool ideas. And I think games like this will never be forgotten. I'm still very nostalgic about the times when I was playing Build a Boat on my old Roblox account. But it's not the end for the Roblox yet. There's still hope for us, because there's actually a lot of good and cool games that just don't make it to the front page because of their online. And it happens because kids don't play them, because these games are too hard for them to understand and enjoy. And you just need to look for these hidden gems in the shaft full of shitty games. So to save you some time, I can recommend you games like Medieval Artes, Guts and Black Powder, generic roleplay game, Grass Cutting Incremental, and Untitled Tag Game. These games are the few examples of good games that make me believe that Roblox has a bright future and that there will be even more great and exciting, interesting games. And maybe we'll even develop one too. So subscribe on my channel so we can create a community of Roblox players with good taste together. My name is Pyrus, thank you for watching and goodbye.